Oh, after reference. all that, after all that, at the very end, they hit me with a who's bow after I did everything. No, but 36, the welcome. Thank you for the bow. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, Chad, who's Bo? I Bo, who? After Who's everything Bo? I did for democracy, after how badass I was. <laughs> Can we get another clap? Let's give a clap. Oh, the that wonderful story. That was so story. good. Bo that was drew good. Me Thank in. you that for making me so look cool. Good. <laughs> okay, bam, Bo. Obama's <laughs> best friend. That's me. Did I win or did I lose? What happened? Did you Oh, did you, you died. Win? You huge time what? died and I survived. Yeah. She used it on some watch of the... Wait, so you're a human, though, because you used the stem on you. No, it's Wait. just... It's just I got biological tissues in me, I guess. I don't know. My first ever fan fiction? Was that your first ever? That was great. You did wonderful, Bo. Dude, Thank that you was so your much. first? That was so good, though. Well Thank done. So well done. Generating my first ever fan fiction. Well done. <gasps> I think those Dude, are some good fanfic. That's better fanfic than I ever wrote. And that's, you know, that was your first? Yeah, that was good. That was great. My first fanfic was absolute fucking garbage. Yeah, we all know about my first fanfic. Yeah. You know, yeah, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> it heals no matter who uses it? Okay. It was oh, so wait, good, well dude. Done. That was well so done. good. Very, very well done. Y'all like knocked this of out of the books. park. I really didn't expect this to be this good. Yeah, I didn't either. I was like, I wasn't expecting it to be this long either. Like, people like genuinely took time to write. Like, this is a lot to write. Yeah, it, it implies that someone owns Bo, but we don't know who. Like, Bo is someone's, <laughs> but whose is he? <laughs> whose who Bo is, is Bo? this? <laughs> whose Bo, Who's is, Bo this? is this? <laughs> Ellie's imaginary friend is a good one. <gasps> Ellie's imaginary friend, no! I'm, I'm voting for IDK. <laughs> I'm voting for IDK! I voted for imaginary friend. What? That's, that's way funnier. You gotta admit. It's Angel with the Foley Snow, <laughs> welcome! Thank you for the follow! I can't, I can't, I can't believe this. Bo is not my imaginary friend. When I was little, I did, I did have imaginary friends, but my family was, like, super scared of them. <laughs> Were you one of the kids where you'd sit there and you'd play with them, and it'd be like, Thomas said that, um, I should, I should, uh, put my hand in the, in the, the sink. Tukai Tukai like, 2, what? welcome! Thank you for the follow! Uh, guy in a raincoat, welcome! Thank you for the follow! No, I, I didn't talk much when I was a kid. Remember, I was I was basically non-verbal until I was in, like, first grade. So, um... So how did you how did you know about your imaginary friend? Did you just sit there and just play with someone and pretend to talk to them? Well, I would, like, draw them. Uh, and I would, oh, I would like, act like creepy. them. So, oh, that um, is creepy. I had Marrow and Bilby. They were... They were... I don't really know, and no one else really knows either. But those were their names, and uh, I would I would draw them. Bilby would just be scribbles, and Marrow would be like a long, tall, skinny woman. And when I would I would play where I would be Bilby, and I would just like get down on the ground and like run around on all fours, like not on hands and knees, like hands and feet, all fours, like running. I understand why your parents were scared. Now you were talking to demons for sure. Yeah, my sisters hated this. Yeah, I can understand why. I would hate it too, quite honestly. I yeah, think they I would didn't... hate that as well. That that's the that's like child like you gotta send <laughs> you gotta send that child away, rule number one. <laughs> they draw like the weird scribble character and they go, Wait, Bilby is kid speak for Beetle Bob. <laughs> oh god, wait, what? That's so scary no! though. You were talking to a demon. Wait, what is Marrow then? Marrow, that's like the things in your bone. Yeah, no, but like, what would what would marrow be kids speak for? I don't know. I think that's already that's already freaky that you knew what like you said marrow. Like I know, a, like, right? Like, how did I know? That's the stuff in bones. Right. Yeah. That's the. You know who did it? Beelzebub yeah. whistled, like whispered it to you. That's what happened. Who whistled? Who who whispered? Be, uh, Beelzebub. What, Beelzebub. Bilby. I got it. Yeah, that's that's who I meant. Yeah, Bilby. Yeah, quote unquote, blood Bilby. Blood and bones for the blood throne. <laughs> Beelzebub. I got, I got That's so listen. scary. I... I'm going to be shaking thinking about that. But yeah, I know. So <laughs> then by the time I was like talking, really, because I didn't really talk. I talked really late. It's it's common in autistic kids. I, was, I wasn't just weird. I mean, I was, but I was a, like a kind of weird that we can describe. Anyway, um... Then they would ask me, they were like, what was that? Why was that so scary? And and I was like, I don't I don't really remember. Like I was a little kid, so 
I kind of got something like that when I was younger. Um, my mom, I used to freak out my mom a lot because I would have like weird dreams that would come true. So we were, we were at a vacation place at one point and <laughs> I had a dream that a, uh, hurricane went through the area and was going to like destroy everything. And everyone was like, Bo, shut up, shut up. But I was so like, I saw it so clearly in my dream that I believed it was real. And I started crying and I convinced my mom, I was like, please, 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 let's leave a day early. And she's like, fine, whatever. And so we left the day early. And uh, when we watched the news the next day, that place that we were staying at was completely demolished. It was like completely like just all gone because a hurricane went right through that area and, and like killed like a lot of people. And my mom was like, what the fuck? And I also told my mom that she was going to fall off a bike. And she's like, what the hell? And then she got on a motorcycle and then like fell. And I said exactly the left leg. And then she fell and actually broke her left leg. What? It's Bo about to trauma dump again. I don't think this is trauma. No, this is Bo cool. just can predict the future, I guess. Yeah, I could do that. Like, I kept telling her, I was like, don't get on the bike. You're going to fall and break your left leg. And she was like, Bo, quit saying things like that. And then I was like, okay. And then it didn't happen. She was like, what the fuck? She's like, what's wrong with you? And I also remember being in the back seat. And then my mom has, like, this very, like, clear memory of um, me going, we're about to run out of gas. Even though I couldn't see the gas thing. And she said, no, we're not, Bo. And then, like, a minute later, the car just, like, apparently it was leaking. And the car just ran out of gas. And she's like, what the fuck? That's really fricked, dude. Did you ever, yeah. like, how, did you ever, like, think about how you knew that or anything? No. <laughs> I was just like, oh, well, I did see like my mom claims that I, I I saw a person get hit by the car once my like I started crying. So I was in the side uh, seat like in a booster seat and uh, my mom was driving down the road. and It was night. And I said, mom, mom, look out. You're about to hit a, the sky. And my mom was like, what? And there's no one in the road. And then I screamed and she like pulled over. And she's like, what? What? And I, I was crying because I said that she hit this guy and there was like no one there. And she's like, who are you talking about? And she said, I described the guy that had like a, uh, like a, like an old fashioned kind of like, uh, you know, those like the, the tail end of like a, uh, a suit. What are they called? It has like the, uh, the curve at the end, like the two, whatever. It's like a tux, but it has like the little fancy stuff at the end. And he's wearing like a top hat, tailcoat. There you go. And he's wearing a top hat. And I described him as an older man, probably about in his like fifties, maybe sixties. And he had like a white beard and like a white hair. And I said that he looked at the car as it was approaching and then screamed and then we hit him and then he disappeared. And I was so adamant about what this. And my the mom was frick like, is that. this? And my mom was like, Bo, stop saying stuff like that. But I, I was crying. I was in tears because I thought she killed someone. Mothman whispered to a child, Bo. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so not to alarm anyone, but uh, I, I looked up a list of demons that started with M and I found... Um, Marilyn, <laughs> and she's like a tall, skinny lady. <laughs> Dude, you were talking to demons for real, for real. You were for real, for real talking to demons. Yo. Oh no, that's crazy. Oh, no. You were hanging out with demons. Were they chill though? I saw the demons only cats can see. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't really remember. I remember that. Okay. Oh, what no. I remember oh, no. was that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did you see what Maple said? Beelzebub is the Lord of the Flies, and that's why it was just a bunch of squiggles, because it was a swarm of flies. Yo. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like this. Yo. You're going to go to sleep tonight, and your door's going to crack open, and you're going to no. be like, you do Stop. remember us, Ellie. Stop. Oh, I live alone. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Spooky! Kelsey Pie! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much for the two months! We didn't forget you. You thank forgot Mills us. Dolphin. Welcome! Thank you for the fall! I didn't forget them, first of all, because my sisters made fun of me for years about this. San but Rocco! Maybe you knew. But maybe Welcome. you knew their real names, and you just forgot. You started calling them something different. Thank you for the fall! I think like, I, you know I don't know. names now, Ellie. I mean, I was a really little kid, and I wasn't great at talking. Like, Marrow for Marowim, and... For. B Bilby for Beez Beelzebub? That just sounds like child speak. I don't know. That's... This is the part they're waiting for. Now you know their real names. You've summoned them. You've said it. 
so we shared a room when I was little <laughs> and they would they would get so freaked out. Okay, so I, I used to do this thing when I slept. So, okay, I've talked about this a little bit before, but I was bad at going to sleep when I was little. Like I was really, uh, I would have nightmares all the time and I was so scared of having nightmares. So I would just try and stay up. I would just like do my best to not fall asleep. Like I would prop up my pillows. So I was sitting up and I would just like not, I would just like do anything I could to not fall asleep because I would have so many nightmares. So I, um, I would fall into this like weird state uh, called wake induced lucid dreaming. Possession. Did I float okay. in your in my sleep? Doesn't everybody float in their sleep? So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm you... joking. So, <laughs> so Wait, you guys the... tell me you don't float? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't float. No, so um, I uh I I would I would sit up in the middle of the night and I would like say things. They were possessing you. Paluna, welcome! Thank you for the follow! And you got so, by the demons. <laughs> yeah, what a bunch of sinkers we got here. So you only ever glide. So um, my my sisters uh, were really, really scared of that. Whoa! Siliana Balash! <laughs> Thank you so much for the two gifted subs! Did I ever so, tell you I fought my, uh, my nephew's uh, imaginary friend? What? You fought yeah. them? Yeah, I said you can't have an Whoa, imaginary friend were... anymore. It's scaring everyone. And those he said, were tier oh, yeah, threes. Hope... Thank Yo, you so tier much. Three. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Thank you so much. Between me and my wolf sister, your parents went through the Giga ringer. Chad. That's true. That's true. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. Yeah, who won though, Bo? Okay, let's see it, chat. Did you I lose? Did. I definitely won. I said, I'm going to beat up your imaginary friend. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not allowed to have one. And I said, where is he? And Bo, he said, why right are there. you and so I... I turned around Why are you and I such swung a as hard as I fucking could. Who I beats swung. up a child's imaginary friend? Because he wasn't allowed to have one. It was freaking everyone out. So I said, I'm going to beat him up. And so I swung as hard as I could. And he was like, I am, I'm not nearly as haunted as my niece. Like my, my family for a long time, when I was a kid, they were always like, oh my God, Ellie is so haunted. It's spooky. We don't like it. We don't like how haunted she is. My niece is so much more haunted. I told you about when I was reading her a bedtime story and she was like, can, can I have a good night kiss? And I was like, okay. And I like kiss her forehead and, and put her to bed. And then she's like, can he have a good night kiss? And I was like, oh yeah, I remember this. Who? And she just pointed <laughs> at the floor and I was like, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He cannot. Absolutely not. But see, that's the reason I beat it up because we didn't have to worry about that. Because like they, they were, like I was like, you talk to him, I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna beat him up again. <laughs> and so they stopped talking to him. Wow, you know, it works. So, so you should just beat it I up. I guess next that's time. a strategy. Yeah, if she says, "Hey, he's there," and points at the ground, you need to go and like just start know, like slap punching. Your elbow. This no, is slap a job. Elbow and then jump. <laughs> And then like elbow drop where it is. Like, Just oh! elbow drop him. Yeah, I'll be like, he don't get no kisses. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I was a kid, I I had a lot of sympathy for anything people that were was were scared of, anything that people thought was like scary or gross. I just kind of like had a little soft spot in my heart for. Like, what do you mean? Like, like, like things like ghost. Yeah, like ghosts. Like people would be like, oh, there's a ghost. Or like if you say Bloody Mary three times in the mirror, she'll come. And I would do that because I was like, I don't know. She sounds sad. Like she sounds like she could use a girl's night, you know? That, that's so Ellie coded. Like she had, she had a hard time out there. Yes. Like, I, like, friend? Girl, like she'll kill you. And Ellie's like, I don't know. Maybe we'll hang out and like, I don't know, have drinks or something. Like she's <laughs> cool. Like I'll share my OJ with her and like. We could paint each other's nails. <laughs> we could paint each other's nails. Like maybe, I don't know. Maybe we could make her less bloody. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, she could take you a know? shower. Get some of that blood off her. I bet that feels really uncomfortable after all those years. If we ever went ghost hunting together, it'd be the complete yeah? opposite. It'd be me like being like, ghost, I'm going to fight you if you do anything. And you being like, hey guys, um, if anyone's here, uh, I come to you as friend. And it's going to be like the other camera angle back to me. It's me just throwing fist in the air. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like fighting something. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> You want to we'll give the girl from the ring a hug? Me too, man. She's had it so rough. 